Hiya, 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 all my lovelies. So I just wanted to come on here real quick and encourage y'all to get ready, guys. Get ready. What are we getting ready for? Get ready to be the best version of yourself. Get ready to set goals and see those goals fulfilled. Get ready, guys. Get ready to see your dreams come true. If you're ready, then you better get ready. And if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. So what am I talking about? We are approaching the end of 2020, right? 2020 was a crazy year, guys. But if anything, it should have made us truly wake up and see things for what they truly are. And maybe we don't see them all for what they are. At least we have a glimpse and at least we're questioning things now because we should question everything guys because what we've been taught what we've been told is not necessarily what it is and so it's it's time for us to go figure out what it is and it's time for us to go get what we want guys it's time to get ready for all the things that you want it's time to make your dreams a reality so i just want to encourage y'all um before the end of the year prefer preferably before um december 21st um set goals set goals for yourself and that way we can look back and we can see how many goals have been accomplished maybe mid next year or the end of next year or whatever but i just want to tell y'all to get ready because changes are coming big changes great changes are coming and so we have to get ready guys we have to be ready we have to stay ready so we don't have to get ready and so when these changes come we can just embrace them and we can just keep riding the waves and it's gonna be great guys um believe in yourselves that is first and foremost that is one of the most important things um make these goals for yourself and believe in them feel them um write them down speak them and then not only that but actually feel them feel them how that goal when you achieve it how it's going to make you feel that's how you are going to manifest it into your life and also um i know 2020 was crazy was hard was tough for a lot of people but again it should have been a year for us to see things clearly. I mean, come on, guys. What is perfect vision 2020? And that is the this is this year. And we're about to be over. It's about to be over. It's, this year is about to be over with. And so we need to truly lock in our vision for our future and what we want for the future. And this time in quarantine should have gave us the opportunity to really figure out what we want and where we want to go and um who we want to be i know me personally y'all probably see my pages that i make i want to do a lot of things and i'm gonna do a lot of things but i have to get myself in order and balanced in order to achieve those things and that's my problem a lot of the times I just want to hit the ground running and that doesn't always work out. Um, I have a lot of ideas. I have a lot of goals. I have a lot of projects um, that I want to create and one day I will, but I also have to learn that everything has a reason and everything has a season and everything is in its perfect timing. And so even though I want, things to happen right away um all these things to happen right away i have to step back and have patience and realize that they're going to happen in their timing and i can't do them all at once i can maybe do one or two or three projects at a time but then maybe those one or two projects will lead me to another project and it's just about having patience guys but it's also about 
truly setting your vision for your future. And that's what I want to encourage y'all to do before the end of 2020, before December 21st, because that is when the big shift happens. That is when we should already be locked in with our um, our heart's desires, with our our dreams, um, and not not just your dreams for yourself, not just your dreams for your family, but the dreams you have for the new world, the dreams you have for the new earth. Because, you know, everyone has always said, after, you know, when this quarantine happened, like, when are things going to go back to normal? Everybody's talking about, when is it going to go back to normal? Um, I can't wait till things go back to normal. But the reality, guys, is it's never going to go back to normal. It's never going to go back to the way it once was. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. Because the way it was before was there was a lot of flaws in that plan there was a lot of flaws in um systems and um the way things were running it's time for us to get back to our roots it's time for us to get back to nature it's time for us to do things that help our earth instead of hurt our earth um this is our place that we live guys this is a place that we want to pass on to our children and our children after them we should be preserving the earth as much as we can not destroying it and using up all its natural resources just because we want to be greedy or just because we want to have more than we need um so it's not going back to the way it was it's going to be better and so when you set your intentions and you set your goals don't just set them for yourself set them for everyone set them for the collective set them for the world also and vision envision what you want the world to be what changes you would like to see in the world and ultimately guys we have to be the change that we want to see because that's the only way things will change if we start to be the change and so also i know that i've been kind of being a hermit <laughs> which isn't that much different you know from my normal life but i've like super been a hermit because i've just been um really processing a lot of things and um I think uh, a lot of it is like, you know, what you want to do, what you want to create. Um, and I, I say us because I know that so above, so below, so within, so we reflect. And so I feel like what I'm going through, I can assume or not even so much assume, but I can guarantee that a lot of people are probably feeling or going through the same things that I am. Um, because ultimately we are all just reflections of ourselves. And so I feel like um, a lot of this year was to help us see, but it was also to help us realize what we want and what we want to do with our time here on this earth and what we want to leave for the generations to come. And so it's all about setting our intentions for that guys and not only that but um i've also been dealing with um people that didn't agree with me um or people that are butting heads with me a lot or um sparking negativeness and that's kind of another reason why i've been a hermit because i just would rather not deal um if something is negative if something is um just ugly then i would rather not waste my energy on that and i'm not gonna allow um that situation or that person to drain me of my energy and so i'm learning and going through the process of how all that works and how i can be around people that are not um necessarily positive the majority of the time and i'm not saying i'm always positive guys because 
I mean, we're not always positive. We all have light and darkness within us, but it's just, um, we can't allow people to drain us of our energy because that's just like them drinking all the water in the cup and then there's nothing for ourselves. Um, but um, I, so going into 2021, not only do you want to set your intentions, but you also want to analyze the people around you and analyze who's for you and who's against you. And not so much stress on it and not even so much worry about it. Just know that whatever your vision is for, for your future, um, whether it be building, whether it be music, whether, whether it be painting, whether it be um, whatever, whatever it may be, um, a new job, a new career, um, if the people that are for you are going to be there for you and the people that are not for you will not be there for you. They won't come along. They'll, they'll fall away at the wayside, if you will. And so don't, don't hold on to people that aren't for you. Um, the people that are for you will be there and the people that aren't don't need to be there. And so don't stress too much on that guys, because I know that's something that, um, I've dealt with and even even so like you think that oh because they're your best friend or father or mother or sister or brother or aunt or cousin or whatever that they should be there they should be around you know that's your family well um ultimately we decide we decide our path we decide um, who we want around and not only that but those people's actions um, will decide whether they are for us or, or against us and whether they agree with our vision of the future or not and it's like that saying birds of a flood birds of a feather flock together or um, this is kind of an ugly one but um, chickens don't hang out with eagles or you know it's just it's just different it's two different breeds and it's it's not that one's higher than the other or one's lower than the other it's just we're all on different levels and um similar minds think alike and so you will tend to attract people around you that think the way you do that see things the way you do and um, I'm ready for that, guys. I am so ready to find my tribe because sometimes I feel like I'm alone. I am alone um, in all this that I'm saying and speaking my truth. And that's okay. Like, that is so okay because I am more than happy to light the way for other people to join. And by all means, reach out to me and um, just express to me what you're going through because we can help each other, guys. That's what we're here for. We're here to help each other. Um, so just get ready, guys. Get ready for the change because it's going to be a beautiful change. It's going to be a magnificent change. It's going to be a change that makes us realize that the old wasn't how it was supposed to be and the new is what we make it and we're gonna make it great guys we're gonna make it so great um you just have to choose to so with that being said guys i just want to i just want to encourage y'all and let y'all know that you are great um set your goals set your goals for for your future set your goals for the collective and choose to change change to improve improve to evolve i'm lucy and i love you all peace Oh, like and subscribe if you're feeling the vibe. Peace.